imagine how realtors have been impacted. You know, it would be difficult to do this, which you want strangers coming into their house when they're trying to sell it. Well, things, believe it or not, they're actually looking up. Here's my conversation with realtor Amy Clark. So, Amy, let's talk about this, because I was wondering the other day, I'm thinking, are people hesitant to go into homes and, you know, this time of the year with this going on or are things changing? What are you seeing out there? Well, there's still a lot of buyers out there, Eric, um, that are looking for homes that haven't found them prior to uh, COVID-19. And um, we've made some changes as realtors um, to protect um, our clients and the public. And we're starting to see things really pick up in the last few weeks again. So uh, obviously you have to change the way you do things. What are realtors doing these days to help uh, uh, to protect and sanitize? Um, Before every showing, we speak with all of our clients, find out if they've had any symptoms. If they have, we've asked them very politely to reschedule that appointment for the protection of the seller and then also ourselves and the general public. Uh, We are wearing masks to all of our showings. We um, also wear gloves, we bring sanitizing wipes, and in some cases we're wearing booties on our uh, on our feet. And it's interesting that um, I know things slowed down for you guys in the very beginning, but now you say you're seeing an uptick, and why do you think that is? With the mortgage rates as low as they have been this past year and even last year, and with people still needing to find that perfect home, we are finding that now after being cramped up in their home, doing a lot of research, Uh, on the homes available, that now they're ready to get out there and start seeing them again. Um, So yeah, there's a big big push right now to find homes. It's a pretty good time. Thanks, Amy, for your your, uh, time today. We appreciate it and get out there and sell some houses. So if you have any questions and Amy knows what she's talking about, I'm putting a link in this story on WFMYNews2.com so you can get in touch with Amy or anybody on her team there. So I asked, uh, you know, folks on I mean, Maddie, this is a, this was a, b- a big question of mine because I'm thinking yeah. for people that are either trying to buy a house or sell a house, you have to get out of your comfort zone and get out there. And, you know, if I were to, I don't think I would put my house on the market right now. It would worry me. Right. And I know you asked people about this, as you were saying on your Facebook page. Yeah, I did. And I was, you know, I was actually happy with this response because it's kind of keeping the economy going right. Look at Tina. Tina's the first one here. She says, I would buy homes. They're a great investment. She didn't even address the issue of the coronavirus. Marty Heim says, I would buy and sell. Agents have safe guidelines for all parties. And that is true based on what Amy said. Mary Kapaki said that Two houses in my cul-de-sac sold, one under contract just 24 hours after listed, the other only four days after they were listed. And Carmen Leonard said, yes, if you have a good job and you know it's going to be there, why not? So when they're taking precautions like that, then, uh, yeah, that's probably a a pretty good thing. And I think we're all probably fairly safe doing that. It does make me feel better to hear from the realtor who says, you know, we are making sure people aren't showing symptoms. We're asking them to wear a mask and wash their hands when they get in. They're taking those extra steps to make sure that a client's feel safe sure. when they're coming to view a house or possibly, you know, put their house up for a listing. So. Yeah, and when the, if the realtors are doing masks and gloves and booties, that's about all you can ask for. And then sanitizing when they leave a house, that that's good news.